What's up everyone, Evernote and Apple Notes are two popular note-taking applications. The video takes an in-depth look into both and covers Evernote versus Apple Notes. Starting with the platforms, Apple Notes are pre-installed on Apple devices. While you can access the app on Windows by installing the iCloud application or going to the iCloud.com. Evernote is available on iOS, Android, Windows, Mac and browsers. Both sync with the cloud so you can access on other devices. Evernote extension is a tool for Chrome, Firefox, Safari and Microsoft Edge. The free web clipper can save and annote web pages, PDFs and articles. Moving to the interface, both use a straightforward design. I would say Apple Notes is easier to use and navigate than Evernote. You get all the notes on the interface with attachments button on the bottom left and add a new note button to the right. With Evernote, you get the notes with add a new note button down the bottom. The add new button shows the options on the right hand side. Regarding the tools, both offer basic note taking tools. Here is the table covering the tools both support. You get the rich editing tools in both. But Evernote focuses on the attachments and integrations while Apple Notes focuses on the text more. Let's move to sharing and exporting. Notes are saved on the cloud, so it's essential to have some sharing tools. Apple Notes offers to add people to see and edit notes. Being a privacy freak platform, they only offer the email option. To share with someone, you will have to put their email address. And if you send the link to someone, they will get the message that the note is private. You can also send a copy of the note or just the images in the note. Evernote contrarily offers to share notes with the view, edit and invite permissions. You can also create a link and share it with your friends. Moreover, you can email the note to someone. So what other features both offer? Apple Notes offers to search for the text within the notes, PDFs and scans. Evernote offers to search for the title and text within the notes for free. Both apps offer to scan the document straight from the phone. With Evernote, you can also scan the business cards and save the contact details without any extra steps. Evernote also offers over 65 templates and Google Drive integration to view Google Drive links. Pricing is the only section which changes many things. Apple Notes is free, but Evernote isn't entirely free. The free plan limits the shown features. You can log into two devices. You get 60 MB monthly upload limit. Each note size must be less than 25 megabytes. Offline access only on the desktop version and limited sharing and integration options. The premium version comes in two variations. The individual premium plan costs $10 per month which enables unlimited devices, 10 GB monthly upload limit, 200 MB of note size, offline access on both mobile and desktop devices, and extended sharing and integration options. The final team-driven plan costs $16.5 per user per month and offers some extra features alongside some team-focused tools. So which one is for you? For starters, I would suggest using Apple Notes as the tool is free multi-platform with some great features. Evernote on the other hand is also a great tool but you can only use the app on two devices at max for free. I would suggest using Evernote if you only have two devices but if you have more than two then you might wanna go with Apple Notes. Anyway that's all in this video. Thanks for watching. I hope the video helped you find the perfect application. There is nothing more important than real user feedback. So if you have time Please share your views about both in the comments and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.